Hi, Justin Leonard here from MLC CAD in Florida, and I'm here to talk about one of the exciting new features inside SOLIDWORKS 2017, Advanced Hole. Multi-step holes are becoming more and more popular in the different industries we see our customers working in. But what exactly is a multi-step hole? If we begin a section view, we can see that we've already started off a hole over here on the right-hand side. But what I need to do is add a couple of more steps along the way to finish it over here on the left. Let's edit this feature and take a look. To finish our hole over here on the left hand side, simply select the new far side option and choose the face that you want the hole to terminate on. Once you do that, you're going to see options that you're already familiar with, your standard, and simply select the type and the diameter you'd like to set for the hole, just like you do with any other hole, in hole inside Hole Wizard. Once we've done that, we've added a step. Now let's go ahead and go a little farther and add a couple more. Simply select from the brand new flyout a new kind of hole. You're going to get great visual and textual feedback here. I'm going to select a new far side taper hole. And from here, again, we simply select our size, or in this case, our diameter. And we select how far we want this thing to go out. Let's go ahead and say 20 millimeters right there. Let's add one more level. We'll do this as just a normal hole down here at the bottom. Again, select our diameter. And now all we need to do is set our offset from that side. Let's make that one millimeter and we can see how nicely this has created this for us. Go ahead and say OK. One of the major advantages of this great new tool is it leverages something you already know how to use because you use it every day and it allows you to create multi-stepped holes in one easy to edit and easy to control feature. Another great advantage of Hole Wizard is that while you're creating all these detailed multi-step hole profiles, SOLIDWORKS gives you the ability to save them for later use. Here's what I mean. If I go ahead and edit the feature for an existing advanced hole that I've created, notice we get the same flyout with the same detailed information. But now I have some new options over here. I have some favorite profiles I've already selected. If I simply cycle through these, I can see how these are affecting my model. Now if I choose the ST30 option here, no longer do I have to individually set all of these different parameters myself. I simply select this favorite profile, go ahead and say OK, and I can keep on designing. So in closing, with the advanced hole feature in SOLIDWORKS 2017, you're going to get one easy to use feature that allows you to create multi-step holes and modify them, saving you lots of time throughout your day.